today's soup is coming from the Nutriblast Classic and Pro Cookbook or the Nutribullet Nature's Healing Food. In this book, it's on page 173. If you own the Pro or the Classic, this is going to come from page 80, 89. So this is called the Butternut Squash Soup. Now, I've made a soup um, from the same books. But I didn't have to really change anything because it fit in the uh, tall size Nutribullet cup. This is different. I'm going to um, suggest the Nutribullet 900 because I'm using a colossal cup. And I had to make a lot of changes because even if I was using my Nutribullet RX, it still would not be big enough for the ingredients as the original soup. So with that being said, let's just get in how, um, into how to make this soup. Um, First, we're going to start with one, one and a half cups of butternut squash, one half of an apple, one fourth cup of black beans drained, one small clove of garlic. I have sauteed one fourth cup of onions with one and a half teaspoons of coconut oil. Now, in the book, it said olive oil, but for some reason, my gut says the coconut oil might really flatter the flavors better. Keep in mind, this is cool. That's why I was able to touch the pot or pan. Our spices are going to be one teaspoon of curry, one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalay salt. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a half a cup of full fat coconut milk and last but not least one and a half cups of vegetable salt of I'm sorry vegetable broth low sodium I use the um, Whole Foods brand by the way now even in a colossal cup this is slightly over the max line that's why I said I suggested this particular size cup you could also just split it up into different cups you know but I'm going to put the extraction blades on and mix this for about 45 uh, seconds. Now you're, you're still going to see a little bit of chunkiness. Whoa, that's a lot of chunkiness. Oh my gosh. Let's put this back on the blender. Okay, I'm just going to pour this into a pot. Hope, hope to God there's no chunks in here. Yes, much better. I'm going to pour this on the pot and heat this up for about three to five minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is about, like I said, two servings at a cup and a half each. The, the biggest advantage about cutting the recipe in half is you get to see if you like it without wasting the ingredients. And also, unless you're making it for your family, you, you'll find that organic soups spoil a lot quicker because you don't have any preservatives and additives and chemicals and stuff keeping it alive. It's, it's pure organic love in here. So with that being said, it's taste test time. not enough salt for my personal liking and I also think maybe I should have put a half a cup less of the vegetable stock because I feel like maybe I had too much liquid it doesn't allow the, the butternut squash to be the star so I'm going to put a little bit more salt and see if that changes things and let's try it one more time It's a smidgen better with the sprinkle of salt. I actually taste a little bit of all the ingredients. It's a hint of the cinnamon and a hint of an apple. The butter squash surprisingly still is not the rock star and I really was hoping that it would be. Um, you might want to make the soup as the book intended so you have a comparison of the flavor palette. I don't have nothing to compare it to. Um, 
I did make the ginger pea soup from the book, but those were all the ingredients that were intended in the book as it is, and I had it before. So I knew what it was supposed to taste like because I, I tried it the original way it was in the book. This, it, it just tastes okay. It has a lot to do with the lack of salt. So you might want to put a smidge more salt and a little bit less liquid and see if it turns out better for you, but it wasn't exactly like something I could see myself making it as it is again. But I will give it a second try off the camera. All right, guys, um, check out my favorite so far, which is the pea soup. And uh, don't forget to sub, like, and share. And until my next post, Gadget Trish is out. Enjoy the soup.